All right, I've got everything put together now. I've got all my pistons, repeaters, pressure plates, plenty of redstone torches, and a good number of ladders because I'm going to make a uh, easier way up than pillaring up and down. And well, come on. Okay. So now let's go ahead and get this thing put together. What I'm going to go for first is to add a level on top, possibly two, depending on how much room I got between uh, where it is and level 128. And then I'll put more floors down below for a total of five spawning floors, each one with 20 uh, spawning places. So that'll give me 100 spawning places. And then I'll go on the other side of this pillar and mirror the whole thing for a total of 200 spawning places. Alright, let's uh, run this the rest of the way up. Okay. Alright, that should do. Okay, now, I already uh, adjusted this thing. It originally had the inside three blocks tall, and I adjusted it down to two blocks tall so that there would not be Endermen spawning in there. Because I'm not after Endermen, I'm more after Creepers. And likewise, of course, because the spawning area is only one block tall, there will be no spiders as well. All right, now. Yeah, let's run this out here and get a layer of pistons on it. See, let me look at the level down below here. Yeah, one in from the edge. And now the same thing over here.
Okay, good. Here. Yeah. Okay, repeaters. I'll need that for my way out. All right. Pressure plates. Well, let's get the ceiling finished first. Well, everything's working. And now we open up the drop zone. Okay, that was unpleasant. Now we just close this thing up. There. And now let's throw some torches on here on the top, just in case. We'll see where are we at. Why on the Y stack axis? 126. I guess that's about as high as we can go for right now. just to make sure light the top of this thing up okay let's take care of that
Now I'm going to drop down here a little bit. Preferably without doing something as stupid as that was. Ah! Splat! Okay, let's make it daytime and go get everything and start over. But you get the drift here. Make up uh, another two levels underneath the one that's already there. And we'll begin to have something of a mob system here. Probably going to end up putting in some kind of a collection system and a lava blade to take care of anything that survives the fall. Something like that. I'm not exactly sure yet, but go away, skeleton. It's daytime. myself back in order here and build three more floors below that last one. Okay, now let's see if I can do this this time without falling off the ladder. And yes, it would have been better to start at the bottommost floor and build my way up. But this will work. It's a little klutzy, but it'll work. Good. Now all I have to do is put a floor in here, the walls, and duplicate the floors above, and then do it another time or two down below. And I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera because, uh, well, it's going to be repetitive. And I'll catch up with you when I got it done. All right, I have just completed the last floor. Five floors of spawning space. And actually, it just occurred to me there is one other issue that I probably should address. Although, given how much room there is between the 24 block fall mark, I may put some more floors on here. But for the time being... Oops! Here we go again. Ugh! catch up with you when I have everything back in order again. Okay, I've recovered everything and while I was doing so a zombie fell out of that thing. So it is working. 
Uh, I'm thinking that the bottom level is uh, there's light coming in from the, through the uh, drop slot and what I'm going to have to do is uh, build up some kind of a wall or something around that to prevent light getting in maybe a wall three or four blocks down from the main last floor and frankly given how much space there is what I ought to do is go ahead and put in several more spawning floors and well, the only thing I need for that is to come up with enough slimes to get that many sticky pistons remember I need 20 sticky pistons per floor so I think I'll probably do that head down to the uh, slime area down below farm up a few more slimes get myself enough for say two or three more levels and go ahead and expand this thing and then see about doing something about that uh, that drop slot uh, letting light into the bottom levels so I'm going to go ahead and do that alright we're back here at the beginning of a bright new day and that is after I have spent considerable amount of time down below farming slimes more time chopping wood okay let's see let's go ahead and make another stack of pistons oh wait a minute let's get some wood to do it with okay stack of pistons and actually it's gonna have to be another half a stack with them That ought to be enough. We'll see. And another load of repeaters. And I need more redstone. Sticky. And as you can tell, I'm getting ready to get out there and add several more levels of spawning floors onto that trap. All right, looks like we got about enough of everything here. Double check. Pistons, stack and a half of pistons, stack and a half almost of uh, repeaters, maybe a few more repeaters. Yeah, I think so. Redstone torches. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, that'll be enough for Peters. All right. Put away my slime, stone, and iron. Keep the rest of it and all the cobble I can carry. Which actually I'm going to have to take a minute on the way down and uh, grab some more cobble out of the mine. So I'm going to do that and I'll catch you back at the trap. All right. Well, as you can tell, well, like I said, what I'm going to do here is expand this trap downward another four levels for a total of nine spawning floors. And then once I've got it down there, one other thing I'm going to do is around that drop slot, I'm going to build an arrangement like this cobblestone walls around it at least four probably eight blocks down and uh, that will be for the purpose of preventing a whole lot of light from getting up into the bottom level which I think there probably is a fair amount of it given the way it's set up right now so I'm going to go ahead and get to work on these four additional spawning floors and I'm going to go ahead and cut that part out because I've already shown it a couple of times so that's that. Time to get building. Alright, I have completed the additional four floors and now I'm going to do something about enclosing that drop slot because as you can see, it's letting a certain amount of light in from down below, and that's counterproductive. So, what I'm going to do here is go across here like so. Well, that wasn't very useful. And then over here. And basically just enclose the drop slot for four blocks here. And then I'll go down four more and do it again. Actually, wait a minute. That's where it needs to start. All right. Okay. Now all I need to do is back out on the ladder and go down and do it again four blocks lower. I've already had a uh, zombie and a creeper fall out of this thing when I was coming down to have a look at it after finishing the fourth floor. So it is working. And I think this little touch will help. There. Now down the parts that I didn't need. Alright, get up here. Okay. Clean up the 
a mess. And now I'm going to hang out till daytime and uh, see how this thing works. Okay, I've been hanging out down here uh, through the night and as you can see on my hot bar gunpowder, arrows, and rotting flesh indicate that I have been getting some creepers, skeletons, and zombies falling out of this thing through the night. A few, not very many, I admit. But this sort of trap works best in the daytime, especially when uh, the surface still needs more areas lit up and I haven't even begun to deal with caves and finding and lighting up caves is going to have to be the next part of this as far as uh, improving spawns although I am thinking that uh, well I was reminded of something as a skeleton fell out of there and shot me on the way down that even though they're falling to their doom they are still crack shots so I'm thinking to take this thing that is the drop slot enclosure there it's already coming down eight blocks. I'm figuring to take it down another eight and then from there enclose it in glass. All but the last block down so that I can just walk along next to it and pick up the drops. And I'm thinking that might be the way to go. Okay, the sun's full up. I'm going to be working better than at night at least but of course now that I'm expecting it to it isn't <laughs> and that's something of course you look down and you can see that most of the mobs are underground and that definitely means there is uh, cave stuff. Well, let's see where we go. Shot by another skelly. Two skellies on the way down. The thing is working. But I can see that uh, well, for one thing I, w I do want to enclose that drop slot further down. I think that will help. And then after that to enclose it the rest of the way down in glass. I think that will help too. It will keep me from getting shot standing here. So, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to run down to the mine and pick up some more cobble, and then I'm gonna enclose that drop slot another. Yes, yes, I know. There's great big unlit areas nearby. And, uh, you know, get another 12 layers of drop slot enclosure with cobble. And while I'm doing that, I can have some glass cooking up and uh, enclose it the rest of the way in glass so that I can stand down there and collect drops without getting shot. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that, and I'll catch up with you in a bit. All right. I'm just on the way back from taking time out to cook up a bunch of glass. And as you can see, the drop slot has been covered up for a grand total of 16 blocks down now. And what I'm going to do is, well, first off, I'm going to drop a chest down here and a workbench in anticipation of lots of drops and then I'm going to drop up here head up here and I'm going to start enclosing the rest of this thing in glass not like that And that way, I'll be able to hang around this thing 
without getting shot at by falling skeletons. to me and I need to step up here. So I'm just gonna Okay, with the rise of a new day the trap is essentially complete at least as far as it's going to be on this side of that uh, cobblestone pillar once things get going good I'll uh, duplicate this design on the other side of this pillar and double my results and then I'll worry about some way of uh, dealing with drops automatically or at least semi-automatically and in the meantime there is not much going on because there is of course the next step that I need to do and that is to start finding and lighting up all of the cave systems in this area and I'll be taking care of that next in the meantime this thing is producing a little bit now and then not very much but I expect that lighting up caves around here is going to be immensely easier than trying to do so in the ocean where the caves and underground mine shafts and so on seem to be endless. This is not nearly as big of a problem when you're on solid ground. And this is solid ground that is actually desert biome generated when I came here so it's not some old desert that now thinks it's an ocean or something <laughs> anyway that should be about it for this episode so I'm going to start locating the caves and uh, start working on getting stuff lit up and we'll catch you next time take it easy I'm out of here <laughs>